Here are three reasons not to buy the Coil Cyclone. Number one, the top speed. The Coil Cyclone is an electric vehicle and from that itself we understand that the top speed is not going to be very good. And because of that, well, the top speed of the Cyclone is actually very very low at 116 or 118 miles per hour, which according to the supercar standard is very very low. So if you want a car with a high top speed, the Coil Cyclone is not the one for you. Number 2 the handling. Although I'd say that the handling of the Coil Cyclone is decent, I still would not recommend the Cyclone for racing because, well, it does understeer a whole lot or almost 90% of the time. And if you are an inexperienced player, you're just going to end up in the trees or hitting the wall. Number 3. You are a pro player when it comes to racing. The Coil Cyclone, although very decent and pretty good in terms of electric cars, still cannot perform or get get anywhere close to the petrol cars. And because of this, it makes picking the Cyclone in a race irrelevant. And not only that, but the Coil Cyclone is also not able to hold the line while cornering at high speeds because it just understeers like crazy. So although the Cyclone is still a pretty good car to pick up if you're just a casual racer, if you are a professional and you want to win every time, it is not a good pick. And well guys, those are the three reasons not to buy the Coil Cyclone.